Like much of the Tennessee Valley, beds are filling up at Marshall Medical Centers due to the spike in coronavirus cases. The facilities now have tents set up in case they need to treat an overflow of COVID patients. Our Kenesha D spoke with hospital officials about how and why they are having to plan ahead. Marshall Medical Centers have two tents set up, one here in Gunnersville, another in Boaz to prepare for overcapacity in their emergency departments. Um, we realized a week or so ago that, hey, we're about to you know, get to the point at any time now where we might reach capacity and we need a place to put our patients um, so that they can feel safe. Marshall Medical Centers are not full as of now, but if they do fill up, the centers are prepared. Those tents came from the EMA here in Marshall County, and we work closely with them um, any time there's any kind of disaster or emergency response or anything like that needed. Chief Nursing Officer Kathy Woodruff says the tents are equipped with electricity. So both of the electrical companies on either camp, either end of the county came and set up poles and actually ran electrical power to the tents. Those tents are, you know, temperature stable. We can run air conditioning or heating. It has a HEPA filter so we can keep the air clean. Woodruff says the tents can hold up to eight stretchers and the type of patients depends on which beds are full. Have both of our emergency departments are divided into patients or places for COVID patients to go and then places for non-COVID patients. Woodruff says the tent could also be used for patients arriving by ambulance if beds are full inside the hospital. However, she says COVID patients and non-COVID patients would not be in the same tent. So if it were that all the COVID beds were filled, then we would overflow into the tent with just COVID patients. And as far as how long these tents will be here, well, Marshall Medical Center's officials say they have a good working relationship with the county EMA, and they couldn't imagine any restrictions on using the tents for as long as they're needed. Putting the Valley first, Kenesha Dees, WZDX News.